when I think about how quickly he moved forward from me to Marjorie, uh, that was disturbing. Baby, Mary Lee is still gutted by not only how Steve Harvey abandoned her, but how Marjorie stole Steve Harvey from her and how they conspired to steal her son, Winton. He took my Winton, took my Winton from me. He turned my son against me. Well, she is back and she demands an apology from both Steve and Marjorie, not just for taking her son, but for the many years they managed to convince the public that she is cray cray. Okay, just for a bit of background, Steve met Mary at a mall in Texas in 1989. And when they met, she was working as a makeup artist. In 1996, they tied the knot and they remained together for nearly a decade. But one of the biggest problems in their marriage was Steve's infidelity. Like he literally couldn't keep it in his pants, y'all. Eventually, they got divorced, and Steve made sure he left Mary in the worst possible state. After the divorce from Steve, she was cut off from the comfortable lifestyle that she lived while with Steve. And even the designers that once begged her to wear their fashions no longer answered her phone calls. Now, initially, Mary thought that it was all Steve's doing, until she figured out that Marjorie was the mastermind behind her misery. She even did one hell of an expose on YouTube exposing Steve and Marjorie, and Marjorie forced her to take down the videos and took her to court. In addition, Steve and Marjorie also denied every allegation and put out a statement saying, we are appalled and aware of the videos and other fabricated documents which contained false, misleading, derogatory, disparaging, malicious, explicit, and slanderous information about Mr. Harvey, his current wife, and others. We are saddened that the ex-wife has resorted to such devious and selfish behavior with a reckless disregard for their minor son, her adult son, and Mr. Harvey's other children. Honey, they can say what they want, but I still remember the details of the video. And one of the things Mary talked about was how she got evicted from her home and how Steve and Marjorie literally turned her son against her. Well, in the court documents that Marjorie and Steve filed, they said that Mary put her son on a plane and sent him to Steve without his knowledge, something that Mary said was not true. Mary's not the only one who said that a child was stolen from her. Y'all know Marjorie's ex Jimmy, right? The one who also exposed how Marjorie was part of his gang when they were together and how she moved from one floor to another to maintain her lifestyle. I'm putting, I'm putting the truth out there, I should say. And, and, you know, just let people be the judge. Yeah, that guy. In fact, Marjorie was under investigation herself back in the day. And the FBI wanted Marjorie because they suspected that she played a major role in the ring. And authorities told Jim that his wife would be arrested as they believed they had substantial evidence of her own activities. Apparently, Jimmy cut a deal with the FBI to leave Marjorie out of it. He took the fall due to the fact that Marjorie was eight months pregnant with their second child, son, Jason. And he also said he feared their five-year-old daughter Morgan would be left without a mother if he didn't take a plea deal. And to think that he did this for Marjorie, only for her to turn her back on him once she met Steve and took his kids just like they did with Mary's son. Jimmy actually told The Globe that he and his kids started spending time together after he got out of prison. But then he accused Steve Harvey of forbidding Marjorie from talking to him, saying, all those years I could call night or day and she was always there for me. But when she met him, the phone was cut off the next day. Now, because of how Marjorie did him dirty, Jim wrote a tell-all book detailing all the criminal activities that took place in his and Marjorie's era and told Radar Online that he had reservations about sharing his explosive story before because of his kids. But he decided to go ahead with the project because Marjorie had proven that she was wicked. He told the outlet, I have no allegiance to Marjorie. She showed her hand and I'm going to tell my story. It don't matter if she knows about it. I'm pouring my heart out. No one knows what happened but me and Marjorie. Anyway, back on Mary. During her explosive videos, she also exposed the numerous times Steve cheated on her, including giving receipts in the form of an NSFW email from Steve Harvey to another woman and a letter sent from another woman to herself detailing an affair. The letter, which was meant for Steve, allegedly detailed their cheating escapades, protection usage, and even getting rid of a pregnancy. But that was not all. Among the infidelity she was exposing, Mary also spilled that Steve was cheating on her with Marjorie, and he even went as far as living with her in their apartment in New York. With all the emails and uh, the text messages and the 
different things that were that I was finding out about. I thought the least that he could do make me whole at the end of it. He he left. He just left, walked out the door. Once he realized that uh, I was going to divorce him, he walked out the door, went right to New York, to our apartment that we had there, which I never got to see, by the way, but and then she joined him there. Child, Mary went deep into the details of how they basically ruined her family, including how Marjorie once called the family's house on their private, unlisted number and pretended to check up on her application to work at Steve's suit company. I mean, it's like Marjorie wanted Mary to know that she existed. Because honestly, why else would she call the unregistered house line knowing very well that Steve was not at home? You know, fans always said that Marjorie strategically planned the whole meet up with Steve years back, right from how she positioned herself to be noticed by Steve. Here's the thing, Steve first met Marjorie at a Memphis comedy club in 1987, and coincidentally, or maybe she planned it, Marjorie walked in late while he was performing his set and went all the way to the front to take her seat. She came down front with her girlfriend. Yeah. When I saw her, I quit breathing. So she walked in very late and still walked past everyone to take her seat at the front. Of course, Steve was going to notice her. Now at this time, Steve was still married to his first wife, Marsha. But do you know what he said when he saw Marjorie? He finally realized, okay, I gotta say something. He was like, oh, I'm sorry. I don't know who this is, but I'm gonna marry her. As a matter of fact, around that time when Marjorie was positioning herself to get noticed by Steve, he had already started spending less time with his family. Most of his days were spent working, his nights were spent at comedy clubs honing his craft, while Marcia stayed home with the children. Eventually, he decided that his career was more important than his family and abandoned them. And Marcia was left to raise their 13-year-old daughters and two-year-old son alone, and Steve even refused to pay child support. And he did the same thing he did to Marsha, to Mary. Damn. To think that this is the same man people call the oracle of black dating. Anyway, when Mary was exposing how Marjorie stole Steve and how they conspired to steal her son, this is exactly what she said. I want justice. I want what I worked 16 years for. I was with him when he had nothing. So I earned my stake in the wealth. I want everything back that Steve and Marjorie took from me. They think they can leave me to die, but I want what's mine. I want what I worked for. I want my share. Half of everything that they both have since 2005 is mine. Unfortunately for Mary, because of the influence Steve Harvey has, they sued her and won the defamation case in 2013. And as punishment for defamation, she served 30 days behind bars. In addition, Mary was later arrested for a child support order that she allegedly did not know about. And a gag order was put in place and she had zero contact with her son, Winton. Let's just say she's not one to go down easy because in 2018, Mary was back on our screens again when she accused Steve Harvey of child endangerment, torture, deprivation, and brainwashing. She shared that throughout their very public divorce in 2005, she became depressed and had thoughts of unaliving herself. Beyond her mental health struggles, Mary once again accused Steve of intentionally destroying her relationship with their son, Winton Harvey, and causing significant losses in her business ventures. And she wanted $60 million in compensation for the alleged suffering endured. Oh, she also wanted Steve to be jailed. Well, now she is demanding an apology again because she still feels like whatever happened to her was an injustice. She's not backing down and still wants what she believes belongs to her. Girl, I'd love to know your thoughts on this stinking mess. Do you also think that Mary deserves justice? Drop those thoughts in the comments section below.